Okay, this is our second video for the Unit 4 review, which is going to be problems 5 through 8. And here we have, um, for number 5, we needed to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So it's going to look like this one, because this one's already in slope-intercept form. And we need our new equation to be parallel to this equation. So in order to be parallel, we know that their slopes have to be the same. So the slope of this first one is negative 1 half. So that means the slope of my new line is going to have to be negative 1 half. It also is going to pass through the point 4, negative 2. So we can go ahead and use the same process that we did for problem number 1, or we can use the point-slope formula and solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and use the point-slope formula in this one so that you've got an example of both using the table and of what happens when you use point-slope form. So point-slope form looks like this. We simply replace the y sub 1 with the y value from the point, replace m with the slope, and we replace x sub 1 with the x value of that point. Simplify. Okay, now we need to solve for y. Before I can solve for y, before I can get rid of this 2 over here, I need to get rid of the distribution over here. So if I distribute this negative 1 half, I get negative 1 half times x, negative times negative is positive, and half of 4 is 2. So at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and get rid of this 2 so that I can have the y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. This zeroes out, leaving y equals negative 1 half x, and this also zeroes out. So I don't have anything being added or, sub added or subtracted. I just get y equals negative 1 half x. So that means that if you had used this process, when you solve for b, this would have been a 0 here. Because we have a y-intercept of 0, we just don't write plus 0. Okay, for number 6, we have an equation... Um, that we need to write in slope-intercept form, but this time we're perpendicular to the line that they give us. The slope of the line that they give us is 3 over 4. So that means the perpendicular slope is going to be its opposite and its reciprocal. you got to flip it and take the opposite sign. So I'm going to go ahead and use the table since they want me to write it in slope-intercept form. I'm just going to use this where the table goes like this, and replace the information I know. So my slope is going to be negative 4 thirds. My x value is 3. I don't know what b is. That's what I'm looking for. My y value is 6. Negative 4 thirds times 3. These 3's cancel, leaving negative 4. Then I simply add 4 to both sides. These zero out. So my y-intercept is 10. So the equation is going to be y equals, use the perpendicular slope, don't forget your x, and then add b. Okay, number 7. What is an equation of a line that is perpendicular to the x-axis and has an x-intercept of 10.5? Okay, so I'm going to draw me an xy plane here. And I need a line that is perpendicular to the x-axis. The x-axis is here, so if you're perpendicular, you're going to look like this. It also told me that this line has an x-intercept of 10.5. So this point right here is 10.5. So this is a vertical line. Because it's a vertical line, that means my equation is going to be x equals, and it's going to equal 10.5 because that's where the line crosses the x-axis. So I made sure what kind of a line I had, whether it was horizontal or vertical, even though this said perpendicular, we got to figure out whether it's perpendicular to the x or y. They told us perpendicular to the x-axis. So that makes it a vertical line, so its equation will be x equals whatever number they give us for x. Okay, now we're writing an equation in point-slope form. So we definitely want to use y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So here's my x sub 1, here's my y sub 1, here's my slope. So now I'm just going to 
substitute in the values that I have been given. And, that's a one. and then simplify. Y plus 7 is going to equal negative 3 halves times X minus 1. Because they asked for it in point slope form, we do not do anything else. This is as far as we need to go. And that one is in point slope form. So this has been video two. Next video, we'll take the next four problems.